what an awesome feeling, you know, and like I said, so happy for the guys. Um, personally, I don't need to be carried off, I, you know, because they deserve just as much credit as I do. So I was like, put me down. And they were like, no. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of funny. But, uh, but, yeah, no, it's awesome feeling, you know, happy for everyone in the stadium. And to hear that stadium erupt was amazing. Chris, can you take us through kind of the, the mental management has to be after missing the 49-yard mm -hmm. and then coming back with the game on the line? Just knowing that the team was going to give me another chance, you know, believing in myself and, um, yeah, staying, staying, never get too high, never get too low, staying somewhere right in the middle. Does it kind of amp you up a little bit, though, to get that last kick? But no now now it does, <laughs> but during the game, I'm staying, you know, right in the middle there. You just kind of know right when you hit it that it was true? Yeah, felt felt good. And then, uh, so I saw the initial traje trajectory, saw, knew, saw I was going in, then the rest of, I was just covered up by Brian O'Neill, so I didn't even see it go through. <laughs> so when they recover that fumble, are you thinking, okay, if we're going to win this game, I'm probably going to have to kick a field goal? Yep. I uh, said, okay, if they tie it up, game-winning field goal. You know, now is my mindset, and uh, that's just, you, you know, start, stuck like, to it. kicking or anything or doing anything I stick special? to my same routine. Yeah. Was this a little payback to Mike Zimmer for, for sticking with you when, when you lost, when you missed a game winner early in the season? This is payback to everyone on the team because everyone in that locker room deserved that win, everyone in the organization. Does it help when you have high um, he, he addressed the team. Um, but, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, everyone was giving me the good jobs, and everyone in the locker room was very happy, and, you know, guys were ecstatic that we were able to get this win. Does it help you when you have other high-shake kicks early in the season to, to maybe calm some nerves in a moment like that? Um, of course, you know, but I treat every kick the same, whether it's that first, um, you know, first kick from the left hash or the second one or, you know, the game winner. You, you enjoy those those last-second situations where you don't really know how far the kick's going to be. There's no timeout involved, mm -hmm. but if there's other team, and suddenly you're out there kicking. Yeah, it was the same situation on that 55, you know. Um, we were in a punt or field goal situation, so I'm like, hey, you're kicking it, get ready. You know, so that's my that's my mindset. What was the last time you had a game winner in college? Uh, Cleveland. Um, Cleveland versus the Ravens, so my rookie year. Mike Zimmer said he doesn't generally like to watch the kicks at the end. He says just make it blankety blank. Mm -hmm. What kind of reaction did you get from Zimmer after? Uh, he was happy to get the win, you know, and uh, there's – he was just ec ecstatic to get the win and move on. Now we got to – now focus uh, shifts to Carolina. You say you, you were brushed off kick this game. Mm -hmm. Do you say anything in your head? Like Zimmer said, you know, he, what he's saying when, you, when the kicks are happening. What do you think I go, go through my mental cues, you know, what I focus on like any other uh, kicker does. So, you know, that's, that's where my head's at and staying the same, sticking to my routine every time. Uh, like physically speaking to myself, no, not, not really. It's all, yeah.